DJI, like DJI, I see you. I, I see what you're trying to do. Okay, now that I got my tea, let's talk about the new DJI at, oh, dang it. The brand new DJI Action 2. So yeah, this is the brand new DJI Action 2. It is out, it is hot. No pun intended. And full disclosure, I was not sent this camera. I bought this camera with my own monies and I'm happy with it. Now, are there some problems? Yes, but, but I am legit like happy with the camera. And what's so interesting about the new DJI Action 2 is that it has the exact same sensor size as my favorite camera out here, Pimp. If you don't know, you better talk to somebody. It has the same sensor as the DJI Pocket 2. And now, although these two cameras are very different, it's still, like, it only makes sense to compare the two. Like, I mean, right? So let's do it. Let's do the DJI Action 2 versus the DJI Pocket 2. My favorite pocket size camera, hands down. Okay, so we are on the DJI Action 2 and we brought a little friend with us, the DJI Pocket 2. We're gonna put these two up against each other and see which one does better. Now, I already have a feeling which one's gonna do better, but we, we, we gotta do it. All right, now right off the bat, just a little bit about the Pocket 2, cause you know, it's getting a little old, but the DJI Pocket 2 came out, I would, I wanna say about a year ago. And it had two ways you could buy the camera. By itself, which was 350, and then you could buy the combo pack, which was 499. But for me, I only bought the camera because I didn't really need another mic. I already had wireless mics, I didn't need another. And then as for the specs, the DJI Pocket 2 shoots 4K 60 and 2.7K 60 as well no 120 none of that but it does shoot 1080p at 120. it also has like great microphones digital zoom and like the dji osmo action 2 the pocket 2 does not have replaceable batteries but to be real i've never had any problems with that the battery life on the dji pocket 2 has been more than enough The Action 2, on the other hand, just came out, like just came out last week. It's a little bit more expensive than the Pocket 2, going for about $399 with another option of a dual screen module, which is going for about $519, which is kind of steep for an action camera. Now, with that said though, the Action 2 does have a lot more new tech in it. It shoots 4K 120, 2.7K 120, 2.7K with the option of horizon leveling, meaning you can turn the camera any which way and it'll still be straight, which is crazy with that level of quality. So you are getting a lot of new tech with the DJI Action 2, but do you need it? And also, is it a big difference? Because again, the DJI Pocket 2 is an amazing camera, one of my go-to cameras, and it was only three and now another big difference of the DJI Pocket 2 versus the, the DJI Action 2 is that the Pocket 2 has a mechanical gimbal while the Action 2 works with a optical image stabilization. And now if I forgot to say we are shooting 4K 30 on both cameras and this is straight out of the box. Just to keep things simple, the DJI Pocket 2 straight out of box settings DJI Pocket Colors, and the same with the DJI Action 2. No color correcting, no descender like, none of that. This is what you're getting straight out of camera. All right, so now, with that said, how are we looking? What do we look like? Which one looks better? <laughs> Which one looks better? <laughs> I wonder who has better colors. I feel like the Action might win it over the color. So, yeah, I, don't, I don't know, sometimes the Pocket 2, man. Sometimes, like, I don't know. Most, I, most of the time when I shoot with the Pocket 2, I shoot in descender light. Now, since I'm next to the water over here, how about we go ahead and do a stabilization test really quick. So I'm gonna run all the way down there and then cross the bridge. You ready? And go. All right, how we looking? How we looking? Hopefully my beanie doesn't fall. I'm trying to keep both cameras as steady as I can, but they're both just being held out. How are we looking? I think the Action 2 probably is going to win this one, to be honest. Woo. 
Whew. How was that? Man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm out of breath. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's do a quick audio test. Get away from the busy street. How are we sounding? This is the DJI Pocket 2 audio. How does it sound directly out of the camera? DJI Pocket 2 audio. And this is, this is the DJI Action 2 audio. How does it sound? It sounded great when I did the review. I mean, I was like shocked at how good it was. And I'm only still using just the camera. I'm not using any module or anything like that, just the camera. So while I may like the skin tones on the Action 2 a little bit better, I kind of feel like though, just from looking, when I was like looking through the viewfinder on both cameras, the Action, no, the, I'm sorry, the Pocket looks a little bit more natural. When you look at the skies and like the trees, it looks just a little bit more natural. Yeah, I am curious. I just want to know which one is going to look better. Like which one's going to have the better colors and which one's going to just have the better image quality overall. Because it's tough, you know, because of the fact that they both have the same sensor size, but the Action 2 is newer. But the Pocket 2 is just a money-making machine. Like it is, it is on a whole nother level. Like the Pocket 2 is not an action camera. But I also feel like the Action 2 though, the way it performed yesterday in like indoors, the indoor quality is amazing. Like I was extremely shocked by that. But I do think that it also depends on what you're trying to do with the cameras. Like if you're doing more action stuff, hands down, yeah, get the, the Osmo Action, the Action 2. Or even the Osmo Action if you, you know, if you wanna, if you still want a great action camera but don't wanna spend the money. I mean, but if you got the bag, and you're looking for a new action camera, I would say get the Action 2. But if you're looking for some, something more, a little traditional, that has great stabilization, the Pocket 2 is the way to go. To be real, I mean, I was high key nervous about this camera. I was not sure about it. I, I, yeah, I wasn't sure. But after looking at the footage last night, I'm sold. They did an amazing job. And yeah, I still haven't had any overheating issues. Just, that, I mean, just at one time. It does, again, that warm thing when it gets, when it's charging, that's a bit weird. I don't know why new cameras are doing this nowadays. Don't get it, but yeah, it does get a bit warm charging. But overall though, man. All right, now something that I really like about the Pocket 2 that the Action 2 doesn't have that I tried to do it, I tried to do this like today, is you can't like tap to set exposure like you can on the cell phone or the Pocket 2. But now in the Action 2, for some reason, they didn't make it like that. I, I, and I wonder why, I wonder why that's not an option. Like that should be an option. I mean, that should be an option for all cameras, especially like the small ones. Okay, quick skin tone check, how we looking? Is it all waxy on the Pocket 2? Because that's what happened before. Uh, how we looking on the Action 2? And how we looking on the Pocket 2? This is kind of like, it's not terrible weather, but yeah, it's a bit cloudy. But yeah, how we looking on the skin tones? How we looking? But I do think where the Action 2 like kills it is the technology. I mean, magnetic mounting and all that other stuff. Like, that's crazy. And the size of it all. But that also like makes me a bit mad just because the size of this camera, it is so small. And they managed to put a Bluetooth wireless module in the camera, why couldn't they do the same with the Pocket 2? Like what in the, I don't understand that. Okay, so you guys see that little place right there? That's like a dessert like pop up. And it comes out like, I think it comes out around the holidays every year and it's like freaking delicious. and put this treat away, I'm telling you, it's like off the chain.
side note, can you guys see that? Look, the, right there, the, the lights are up. Those lights weren't up when I was out here the other night. All right, so now doing a walking test, kind of a vlog, like a, a late night vlog, if you want to call it. Uh, how are we looking from the viewfinder? The, the, the Pocket 2 is just killing it. Oh, and I just bump up the Pocket 2's ISO to max 6400. And wow, it looks it looks so good. There's so much more details in the uh, in the Pocket 2 so far. And now let's do a quick walk, because that's where it's, uh, I know with the Action 2, you probably can't see it in the viewfinder, but that's where it like just, <laughs> that's where it's like, that's where it like starts to like die. As soon as you start walking, if it's this low, yes, yeah, it's, it's not good. So I am gonna turn stabilization off like after, after this shot. Check. Wow, it is really dark on the action too. Holy cow, let me see if I can get some light in there. I turned the stabilization off, but yeah, it is really, really dark on the on the action too. I know every time I use like the pocket too I'm always like I know it's gonna look good but I'm always shocked at how good it looks especially in low light it's just it is an amazing camera all right so now quick side note I love doing the low light test. That's like one of my favorite tests to do because I don't know why, but I love filming at night. I mean, that's just me. It might be the gangster in me. But, but anyway, anyway, I have to ask, like before I give my opinion, I need to know, Pimp, what did you guys think? Do you guys think that the Pocket 2 did better or the DJI Action 2? Which, which one you rooting for? And now, as for me, you know what, let's start with the audio. This is just me, but straight out of camera, I have to say that the DJI Action 2 sounds better. Now, it is a little low. I think I mentioned this in my last video, but the audio just picks up my voice so well. And I'm, I'm just, I'm talking about vlogging, okay? When it comes to vlogging, the audio is just a little bit better, and that's with just the camera. And now, the DJI Pocket 2, though, can get great audio, too, as well for vlogging if you set it up right. Remember, this whole test was just straight out of camera. We shot in 4K30, used regular picture profiles, and everything was just straight out of camera. And with the straight out of camera, it usually has all of the mics on. But it can get great audio for vlogging if you set it up where only the front mic is on. But in this test, I have to say that the DJI Action won. And the next test has to be stabilization. Now, stabilization is a tricky one because you can't use stabilization at night on these action cameras. Like, that's just, it's a no-go. Like, pimp, hit me out, don't even do it. Like, you waste, you're wasting your time. And this goes for every action camera. Every action camera that you come across, control C that and control V that. I mean, just turn off the stabilization. So now, with that said, I would have to say, overall, it has to go to the DJI Pocket 2 because it has great daytime stabilization as well as low light stabilization. The optical image stabilization on action cameras just can't handle the Pocket 2's mechanical gimbal. Like that's facts. So I'm calling the stabilization for the DJI Pocket 2. Now, pimp, if, there, if it was different, like if we were just doing just day tests, then yeah, the Rocksteady 2.0 stabilization on the Action 2 is a lot better in the day. But that's not what we all about, pimp. We do everything. We bring the smoke. I mean, you guys want the smoke, so we bring the smoke. So I have to call it for the DJI Pocket 2. And now next, let's talk about image quality. Now, guys, I actually like the colors a little bit better straight out of camera on the Action 2, which makes sense. They've had time to tweak it and kind of go off of things that worked on their older cameras and things that didn't work on some of the other cameras. And it came up with some actually really good colors. Like, it's the same with the GoPro Hero 10. The GoPro Hero 10 actually has really good colors in the natural mode. Like, that natural mode was genius. And I feel the same about the DJI Action 2. The colors straight out of camera are really, really good. But 
the image quality overall has to go to the DJI Pocket 2. This camera is just a beast. I am always so surprised at how good the image quality looks when I do these comparisons with other cameras. The image quality is just so good. Like, I'm just, I'm just being real, pimp. I'm just being real. Overall, I gotta give it to the DJI Pocket 2. It has better dynamic range. It shows a lot more details and it doesn't look super digital. And now it does have a digital look just like the DJI Action 2, but it's nowhere near as bad. So I have to call it for the DJI Pocket 2. Now, the DJI Action 2 does have a lot to offer. The magnetic mounting, the overall size of the camera, the 4K 120, which this cannot do. This, this, is, this is pulling it out and is a good camera, but yeah, again, the Pocket 2 just takes it. But anyway, those are my thoughts. I would love to know what you guys think. Look at the footage and let me know what you guys think about the two cameras. Did I get something wrong? And if I did, just leave it in the comments below and you know I'm a boss, I'm fresh out, so I will get to you. But yeah, let me know if I missed anything and let me know your thoughts. Like, I would love to know what you guys think. Like, seriously, I would love to know what you guys think on this comparison of the DJI Action 2 and the GI Pocket 2. Let me know. But yeah, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button because it helps out the channel a lot. And also hit that subscribe button if you are new because you are a boss and we are on our way to 10K. It's coming. I can, guys, I'm telling you, I can feel it. I, when I feel something, I feel it. So hit that subscribe button and I promise you won't be disappointed. But anyway, that's all I got. I am coming out with a video soon talking about the hacks, tips, and tricks for the DJI Action 2. So be on the lookout for that. It's, it's coming soon. But anyway, thanks again for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.